By 2020, the combined current and capital spending by UK local government will be lower than at any time since 1948. It really is a fundamental shift in the way that we operate. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, you're talking about for, for generations, local government has been financed in a certain way. Every project I've ever been involved in as a councillor has had to be delivered on a tighter budget than we initially thought. It's just the way it works. In the austerity that we've had, our security of future funding has just disappeared. We are in uncharted waters. In fact, you might as well take everything you know about local government and throw it away. I think we have to be prepared and this is really our leadership moment in local government. The local authorities are showing a whole wealth of innovations in, in, in recent years in response to austerity. In 2002, Aberdeen Council established Aberdeen Heat and Power, an independent not-for-profit company. So UX have helped us through that process. They've set up framework agreements, many competitions. We can then go out and, and get the best price that we need. In today's challenges of austerity, the key is for a council to, to make the most of their frontline offices, to do a lot more with a lot less. All Thanks right. a lot. No Thank you. You're welcome. At the heart of the Big Belly is this solar-powered waste compacting device which can increase bin capacity by up to eight times and cuts down on collections. That's great news for council taxpayers and the environment. And what the volunteers do is they, they add benefit and extra to the actual service we offer. It's local government's job, we need to provide the community leadership. We now have a range of very, very wonderful trusts and funds that can offer people debt help. Last week I had a client, before she left she gave me a hug and she was like, just coming to see you has made me feel a hundred times better. ReactTech's new wearable technology is taking the guesswork out of assessing employees' exposure to vibration and helping to keep them safe. Any employer protects its employees. Investing in you know, your people and keeping them safe is a good thing. People come to Liverpool and when they come to Liverpool they say this is one of the most beautiful cities we've been to, the friendliest people we've ever met. We made a decision that we wanted to be a destination city. It means more people are coming in, it means more jobs are being created.